In the previous video, we saw that momentum, momentum is an extensive quantity. That's why we're learning about extensive quantities. How do extensive quantities change? Well, there are four ways. The one way is, these four ways are input, output across the boundary. So if something comes in or leaves, it changes that quantity inside the system. Another way of changing this extensive quantity inside the system is creation and destruction. Um, so examples are if you've got a garden, you bring in trees, that's you change that quantity. If you remove trees, or if you destroy trees, or if trees are planted, okay, or born. What? I've forgotten the word. If trees are germinated, okay. Those are the four ways that you can change an extent of quantity. If nothing can pass the boundary, that means uh, the, there's no input and output, then the only ways to change this quantity is through creation and destruction. If there's no creation and destruction, we have a conserved quantity. And, if the, and um, then the only way to change it is through input and output. Okay? However, if uh, there's no input, output, then the conserved quantity cannot change. So momentum, momentum is a conserved quantity, right? This is the point. We can't create or destroy momentum inside our system. All we can do if we want to change momentum is transfer momentum across the boundary, input and output. So the only way we can change this extensive quantity is by uh, is by transferring across the boundary okay see you in the next one